Hey everyone and welcome back to the Redefine Effects YouTube channel. So another super quick and easy tutorial today. Just want to show you how to do these growing veins on top of your geometry. So they adhere to the shape of the geometry and you can control how many veins you get and how much they spread out. So we can start just by creating a simple sphere in the middle of our scene. You can hit J to hide the brackets. And then let's just create a tie flow object right away and drag out a birth operator. We want to basically just give the particles birth on just frame one. So you can just do zero to one for a total of maybe three particles. So this will control how many veins you will start. So we can start with three and you can always add more later if you'd like. So right now the particle is just born in the middle of the max scene, but we need to tell it to be born on the geometry. So for that we need a position object operator. And for the object we need to pick the sphere. So now the particles are being born on the surface of the sphere. Then let's add a grow operator. And as soon as you add that you're going to see that it's basically just going to keep growing out like this. So this is super useful for something like electricity effects or, or any kind of a growth, really. But we need to tell these particles to still stay stuck to the sphere as they grow out. So for that, we need an object bind. And for the object bind object, again, just pick the sphere. And we need to say lock to surface and snap to surface. So right now, maybe you're imagining like a terminator, you know, being born out of a sphere and this is a bunch of electricity and stuff like that. You can use this for all sorts of stuff. So next, we need to somehow connect these particles to create those veins. So for that, you can just add a spline paths operator, put it down here, go to frame zero and just say create new. And it's going to create a new tie splines object. So this basically allows you to uh, mesh splines in the viewport and we need to set it to siblings because we want to connect the particles that are right next to each other right so now as i scrub forward you can see we have these sort of electricity style veins um, growing out and we're just going to modify it from here so under the grow operator again we can just play with the radius and see what kind of different results we get you see so as you lower the radius you're going to get something that's less crazy so I'm just going to set this to maybe 0.1 centimeters. You can play around with these other settings, but this is what I did for my original example. I just set it to 0.1. Now, of course, you can go back into birth and just set the total to maybe 10. And you should get a lot more um, veins to show up everywhere. But I'm just going to stick to 3 to keep it faster to update. And now you can just go under tie splines if you wanted to. And you could go under rendering and say enable in viewport and then you can just play with the thickness and basically just mesh these particles as splines um, but instead what i did was i used the tie mesher so we're just going to go under standard tie flow and create a tie mesher object here and then you can just say pick and pick your tie flow and it's going to mesh the particles with sort of blobs so then you can just go under the blob mesh radius here and lower that down and we need to give it more resolution because right now it's just super low res so you can just set the voxel size to maybe something like 0.1 and then you can play with the radius again maybe set that to 0.2 right so now we're getting these sort of nicer veins and you can play with the voxel filtering see what kind of different results you get so gaussian gives us something more organic like this uh, the mean one looks a little different. So I think I'll stick to mean. That looks pretty good to me. And now we can basically just apply some materials. So I already have this gold material prepared. It's just black diffuse. Um, this golden color for reflection. Uh, 0.5 glossiness. Um, that's pretty much it. And you can just apply that to the time measure. And it's going to make the veins gold. And then I have this sort of a concrete material for the sphere so i'm just using a simple concrete texture for some bump and you can apply that straight to the sphere and then we can just add a few lights you know so v-ray v-ray light a multiplier of maybe three make it invisible move it down and then let's hold shift drag make one more here hit ctrl c to make a camera and just for some quick rendering settings you can do v-ray next you know, one and two subdiffs, light cache of thousand, uh, bucket rendering mode, 
1280 by 720, right? So by default, it's still rendering the tie splines. Open editor and just disable the tie splines altogether. So now we can just render it with just the tie measure. And there you go. So these are your golden veins. And of course, this could be anything. This could be, you know, DNA or virus or anything you can think of. You can, of course, use any object you want. So under tie flow, you can just um, say position object and give it birth on any kind of geometry. You know, definitely play with the growth here. So you can just set the radius to maybe, you know, 0.4. And it's just going to grow out a lot more. So you can get something a lot cooler, maybe a lot crazier. Right? So now we have a lot more veins happening. If you found this tutorial helpful, as always, I would, of course, appreciate a thumbs up. You can explore over 60 free tutorials on the channel for both Typhlow and Phoenix FD. And the project file for this is under the video. You can download it for free as well. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.